saying hi guys. I'm going to wait a little bit till more people come. I'm just trying to get ahead of the game this time because I feel like I've had you guys waiting the last few times. Hello! Uh, Isla, can you turn that down? So I have my kids in my house. This isn't for a customer or anything like that. So my dogs might be around as well. This is just me showing you guys some filling recipes and talking with you. So super low key, please chime in if you have any questions or if you wanna chit chat, let me know. You wanna say hi? Hi. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Um, can you turn it down, you think, sis? Maybe do your projects that we set up? This should be interesting. All right, guys. Hey, everyone. Good morning from Fort Myers. Tracy, so impressed with your Max. JC, hello. Are you guys canceled for school as well? What are we making today? Well, we are making a marshmallow filling, a marshmallow buttercream filling for our macarons. <laughs> Lori, thank you so much. I know. She is adorable and quite a handful, but aren't all kids, right? <laughs> Big hit, uh, all right, hello. No school for three weeks in Missouri, same here, three weeks off. Um, so it will be interesting to see what happens. I said, I don't know if all of you guys follow on Instagram, but my husband's a doctor, so I stopped my orders for now because he's likely to be exposed. And uh, just for safety precautions, I don't want to be the one spreading it to others right now. So I've also stopped my orders as I have my children in my house too. Three weeks, yeah, closures. Uh, this is crazy. I heard in Ohio too that they're closing down, they are talking about closing down schools for the entire rest of the year. Um, it's just crazy and I'm happy to take our mind off of that for a little bit and make some yummy filling. Uh, so let's get started. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going over the filling that you guys chose, the marshmallow macaron filling. So I was a little hesitant to share this recipe with everyone because it is from a book that I bought. Brave Tart, uh, Stella Parks has this awesome book. It's amazing, I really recommend it. Has awesome recipes and my favorite is the marshmallow buttercream recipe. I recommend buying this if you guys don't have it already, but it is online for free. So I'll put the link in the video after I'm done with this live stream. Um, so I feel comfortable sharing it with y'all that it's out there on um, a reputable site. So I'm not just like giving away one of her her recipes without um, it already being out there for others. So I have changed it up a little bit with just adding some flavors. Well, I really like adding freeze dried strawberries to the marshmallow buttercream, but this base recipe is amazing for so many things. And if you're a cottage food um, person, it's awesome because not only do you use cheap butter with it, like when you're doing Swiss meringue buttercream or whatnot, it can get expensive, um, but you use just regular American butter, which is nice and inexpensive, and also you're not using egg whites or any um, uns what, what the health department deems unsafe because they don't think we can pasteurize our egg whites. Um, but you're not using any egg whites or anything like that that's gonna go bad and you can sell this product and it tastes like a Swiss meringue buttercream or a Italian meringue buttercream and it's safe, food safe, selling safe, out of your home. So let's see. 
JC um, is in Alberta and her schools are canceled. I know I would be sad too. If the schools cancel for the rest of the year, I mean, we're moving too. So my kids won't have that time with their friends until, you know, this will be like the last hurrah, I guess. So it's kind of crazy. Uh, let's see. What? what? Wesley just super chatted. 20 bucks. Thanks, babe. Um, keeping it in the family. <laughs> uh, so there's this thing that you get once you're at, I think it's a thousand subscribers, people can super chat and I need to look into it more, but it's a way that you can help fund the channel, help fund the person that is um, putting on the videos. However, I need to look into it more because I think YouTube takes like 30% of the the whatever you give if you want it to be like hey I want you know to to fund your videos or you know the product you're using as you show us what how to do this but I think they take 30% so I'll have to look into that more but it's definitely a fun way to also pin your comment as people are uh, posting sometimes it's hard for me to read all of them so you kind of get like a front row seat of this is what I'm saying and I'm putting it on blast so you can read it because I think I missed a few last live because I'm very slow at reading and processing. <laughs> okay, so we are going to get started. Let's see here. Yes. Big hit. Um, schools are closed. Um, Wesley, say, stay safe, please. Um, we have no idea if we're going to have to like quarantine our family away from him. It's, it's getting more serious than we expected. So prayers for all of our healthcare workers out there um, trying to figure out what to do right now. Okay, closed restaurants and bars. Yeah, in Michigan, someone just said that they're closing restaurants and bars. I mean, that same in California, they're closing I think they're allowing drive through or pick up orders, but other than that, bars are closed. All places where people gather to have a life and, you know, a social life, they're closing. It's crazy. Wow. Someone said they can't even, JC said she can't even get into her locker at school. They just totally locked down. That's crazy. And last year at your school, ugh, I hope you get to go back, JC. Okay, I think we are here. We can start. Um, so like I said, I am doing marshmallow buttercream from Brave Tart, and then I will show you my little twist on it and um, make some strawberry marshmallow buttercream, which is mighty tasty, and it has a consistency like a Swiss meringue buttercream, so it's not going to be oozing out like if you just did marshmallow fluff. Oh, I also wanted to shout out um, Michelle's macarons. You guys have been asking me over and over for fillings. And she has this awesome channel, um, Michelle's Macarons. Her YouTube channel features every Tuesday she puts out new videos on fillings. So that's something to check out because um, I'm going to be probably trying out other things than, than Max and go to like tarts and other pastries. Um, maybe show you guys some airbrushing on macarons too. Someone asked for that in the next few weeks. So if you want more filling recipes right now, go head over to her channel after this live. Um, she puts out some awesome videos as well. Very precise and fast and I, lo I love her style. So there we go. Yay, thank you guys for joining. Okay, I am doing a half recipe. Um, and it, this takes a little bit of a process because we're, we're heating up a sugar syrup on the stove top, kind of like an Italian meringue method. And um, you wanna join me? Okay. So we're going to be heating up, have, if you guys have made marshmallows at home, it's basically that, but a little bit uh, less gelatin. So our final result is not going to be super, um, what do you say? It's not going to be, okay, walk away. <laughs> Even if this isn't for other people, I don't want coughing on our food. Um, 
So it's not going to be as set as a marshmallow because we're doing a buttercream. So we're going to be making a hot syrup on the stove, half recipe. So I have 85 degree, uh, 85 grams of water in my sauce pot. So we've got a sauce pot here. I'll lower my GoPro so you guys can see better. So we got 85 grams of water, 205 grams of sugar. You wanna make sure when you pour your sugar in that you're not getting bits of sugar crystals on the sides because then your whole syrup will end up crystallizing. I also am going to need some corn syrup. So I'm just using this corn syrup and I'm going to go scale it into my pot directly. Well, actually I can bring my scale over here. My induction stove isn't on, so I will place it on top. Tear it. And then 284, what's half of 284? 142, is that right guys? 284, 142. Someone tell me, someone tell me. I'm pouring it in, I think it's 142. Do, do. So I just, I like these little squeeze tops when you're doing uh, corn syrup because it makes a disastrous mess if it doesn't have a nice easy squeeze top. Okay, oh, Isla, I need to be here, sweetie. So we've got our corn syrup, our sugar, and our water in here, and we're going to slowly melt this sugar. I'm gonna put some salt in as well, and then we're gonna bring it up to 121 Celsius or 250 Fahrenheit. Please, Isla, can you not do that? A little salt. I just don't wanna lose what people are saying. Okay, while this starts to heat up slowly, let's see here. Try to get a good mix of it all. Dun, dun, dun. So while this heats up, I'm going to bloom my gelatin. And then once this gets to a 250 Fahrenheit, 121 Celsius, we're gonna just pour it into our mixer and let it stand um, until it is at 100 Celsius or 212 Fahrenheit. And that's going to be the temperature exactly that you wanna put your gelatin into it. If you put your gelatin in when it's too hot, the gelatin's gonna lose its effectiveness. Um, if you boil gelatin, it starts to lose effectiveness. So you wanna make sure it's under the boiling point. So under 212, under 100, and then add your gelatin. So you will need handy dandy thermometer, but if I can get this to work, that would be nice. There we go. This makes a lot of noise. So I'm turning it on low just to melt the sugar and then we'll bring it up to temp. Let's bloom our gelatin. So you want cold water. So earlier I put some ice in a bowl with water and I'm going to have um, math, you guys. I don't know if I can get out of this. 28 grams of water, cold water with uh, one teaspoon, one and one eighth teaspoon. So the regular recipe calls for a full packet of gelatin. We're doing powdered gelatin today. So half of this is gonna be one and, a and an eighth teaspoon. So cold water and gelatin, we're gonna bloom it together. Twenty-eight grams. 
28 grams of water and then it's gonna be cold water and I'm going to measure out. So it's easy if you're doing a full recipe because it's just this whole packet. I'm gonna measure out one teaspoon and an eighth. I think I have my handy dandy teaspoon right here. So sorry that you can't see this. I don't know how temperamental it'll be. So one teaspoon going into that cold water and then I'm just gonna estimate not a whole another teaspoon. Um, an eighth of a, of a teaspoon. And then you're just gonna get a fork and stir it up. All right, so you let this bloom. Let's see, someone said, Yes, I can show you the book. It's called Brave Tart. It's on my Amazon storefront as well. Hi. So all the gelatin is mixed in. Hopefully you guys can see it and I'm just gonna let that set. So back here. Hi, this is the book. <laughs> this is the book we're reading. This is actually hot, so you gotta be careful, okay? One sec, don't play with it though. We don't want it on full. Okay. So this is the book, Brave Tart by Stella Parks. She's an awesome pastry chef. She's also been to pastry school. Um, and I think she is more on the lines of like a food scientist. Um, she's always doing experiments. She's like what I want to be. <laughs> she's amazing. <laughs> okay, can you get down for mom so I can get right in front of you? Just because I need to stir. Thank you, sweet girl. You can put that there. You can stand here, sis. I just need to get, I have to stir the pot. Okay, so let me put the. It's all musky stuff. It's all musky Let me put the GoPro it's down again for you guys. Easter. It's almost Easter. It's almost Easter. It's all almost right. Easter. <laughs> Mary, yes, she's cute. She's she's a handful, like I said, y'all. So I'm just stirring. While it's not boiling, you can stir the pot just to make sure none of the sugar is sticking to the bottom. You want it to all melt before it comes to a boil, so it doesn't crystallize. My birthday is Isla. That's not not really you. something to share right now. Um. So in this pot, um, we want all the sugar to dissolve before it comes to a boil or else it'll crystallize. Like I said, the, the corn syrup will help prevent the crystallization though. So it has a little bit of a safeguard in here. Uh, inverted sugars like glucose, corn syrup, they help prevent your sugar syrup from crystallizing. So if by chance you have an issue with crystallizing your sugar for a recipe, you can always try substituting some of the sugar for an inverted sugar and see if that helps prevent it. So just kind of pushing around that sugar and melting. Oh, so you have this book? Sweet K, is that your name? <laughs> Uh, someone said they, let's see here. Um, Hi. Sorry, I, the 142, I'm not. What was the 142 for? Do I, I feel like I'm missing something for you guys. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start turning it up. Five. This is medium high. Isla, please, sweet love. Please stay over there and do your art, okay? Okay. Thank Mom, you. Look how good this is going out. All right. So I'm going to start heating up the sugar syrup. The sugar is almost crystallized, and we are going to speed this process up. I have my my mixer ready to pour it in, 
and we will heat this up, like I said, to 121, and then pour it into our mixer and then wait till it is at about 100 Celsius, 212 Fahrenheit to add our gelatin. And then we're gonna mix that and whip it for like 10 minutes. So we'll have a lot of time to talk then about other fillings and such. What, sweetheart? Look okay. it. It's beautiful. It's giving out so good light. Yes, it's so beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, that's what half was. Oh my gosh, how quickly my mind loses it. Gail says hi. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi, Gail. Hi, Gail. <laughs> um, she's all the way in New York City. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I gave out your location. Maybe I shouldn't have. Yeah, she understands you. New York City people speak English. Okay, you want to head out? We're always interested in different languages in this family. So the sugar syrup is going to. Uh, you skipped thirteen, I think. Fourteen. Okay. All right. Sorry. Okay, so we are done with our measurements. I don't need the book anymore. I've got a tray of what we will need in the future. Okay, sis, I'm talking, so let's let's not confuse everyone. Um, I'm going to need a high heat spatula for when I pour this into here. At the end, I want to scrape down and get all of the, the sugar syrup into our pot. So a high, heat a high heat spatula is key because you don't want to melt your spat. And then when you're using marshmallow, I'll tell you guys what the oil is for. It's going to help a lot. And then we'll add some flavor into it. But right now is when I need my thermometer. Well, I thought this would go a little better, but um, she's definitely... I set up some arts and crafts over there and I thought that would be successful. But, um, still have sugar syrup boiling. Let's see here. Julie, yes, very similar. This is why I don't bake when they are here unless it's a project for us because they are guaranteed to be in the kitchen with me. <coughs> Edith, thank you. <laughs> she she knows how to count for like and, uh, and Spanish and English. You used to know Armenian as well, right? Did you remember that? Yeah. Uh, she has a lot of Armenian teachers, so I love that they would they teach them how to count in all the different languages. But we're working on it. We'd love a um, immersion uh, school, but I don't know. They're very frequent here in the Pasadena area, but I'm not sure about Portland. Hello. Okay. So, when your sugar syrup, mine is not heating up evenly. When the bubbles start to look more inverted, it's kind of hard to explain, but they. Then you know when to start temp to temping it. I like can you uh, not talk over me? Just okay. so it's. She, she is my mini me. Uh, it's kind of scary that we look. When I look, when I was that age, I looked exactly like her. So the bubbles are starting to get smaller not evenly getting hot on the outsides though so I'm like what's going on but I am going to temp it we're looking for 121 Isla Michelle can you go into and do your art projects that we set up okay 
So we're at 115, now 114. Anyone have questions thus far? Sweet love, please. Honestly, hi. anyone else going to go insanely crazy over the next few weeks with their kids? Okay, 117, 118, I still don't know why this part over here is not heating up. Isla, I need you to walk away. So I'll have to figure out where to um, lock them up next time since this isn't working. <laughs> Almost there, guys. When I'm going to pour this into my pot, make sure you pour a hot sugar syrup away from your body. 121. Don't freak out right when it hits 121. Make sure in your pot that it all says 121 so it's not evenly 121 right now. Well, that's 120. 121. Okay. We're good. The sides sometimes get overly hot. So let's make sure you guys can see it getting poured in. Hopefully that's good. And I'm gonna, like I said, make sure my bowl is in so it's not gonna plop around and pour away from you. With like an Italian meringue, you or, uh, with the Italian meringue buttercream, you have egg. I love. Please, sis, walk away. That's hot, sweetie, hot. Oh gosh. I didn't get hot. Good. Thought you were gonna burn yourself. Okay. So now go. I'm gonna push it. The rest of it out. With my high heat spatula. But what I was saying about the Italian meringue method is that you have egg whites to worry about. So you don't have egg whites, you don't have to be mixing as you pour this in, so just have it off, pour it in, and then it takes about five minutes to get to the 212 Fahrenheit or 100 Celsius. Please walk away, my love. You're scaring me by the... It is quite hot over here, sweet love. Okay. Okay, so... Once we, while we wait for this to cool, um, we will talk about what the next stage is. So we're going to whip this for, like I said, I think about 10 minutes for it to get to a nice, fluffy, three times its size white mixture that looks like marshmallow. Isla, I need you to stop. Nope, you don't move this, okay? Go do your projects now. So this is what it's gonna turn out to look like. Um, I was so excited for this and now it's just turning out to be a little, I'm sorry, I hope you guys can concentrate because I'm having trouble. But this is what it, it turns out to be. We're going to be making a mixture like this and this is the base and then you just whip this with your butter. So I did this last night because this has to cool for at least two hours. So with a little bit of live magic, it's gonna be like from this to this, so we don't have to wait. Ooh, Adele's making Max right now alongside me. I love that. Let me know how it goes. Um, Lori, thanks. It's just frustrating, like not being able to finish a sentence. You know, usually I have these two lives separate, so putting them together will be something to get used to. Yes, my love. Black color, the same color as your socks. Yeah, I wore rainbow socks today and it looks just like her bunny. Trying to get some extra brightness bunny, bunny, in our life. Bunny. Okay, 
My love, you can look at yourself all day long in the mirror. You want to go in the bathroom and look at yourself? Uh, all right. So I'm going to tempt this bad boy. And I, it, it gets a little bit uh, frustrating because the bottom will start to, will stay hot and then the top cools. So you kind of have to just like when I, when it hit 121 on my sugar syrup, I didn't freak out because I wanted to make sure it was all evenly 121. Same with here. If it's at 100 somewhere, try to temp it all around the bowl and make sure that you're at a good like average 100 or 212 Fahrenheit. So we're at 101. Over here, 96. Over here, 103. I know you can't see what's on my thermometer. Just kind of my rule of thumb is for this half batch, wait five minutes and then I check it. And if it is averaging all the spots that I take, if it averages 100, I put in my gelatin. So it's at 100 right now. I think we're pretty good. Got to, it got cooled fast. It's at 199 other places, so I think we're good to add our gelatin. So here is our gelatin. It has set. You see what it looks like after. So I'm gonna put this in. And then we're gonna whip on media, I mean on low speed till it melts. And then we'll whip it on medium high. And I'll move you guys away from the mixer so you don't have to hear it the whole time. But I'm putting this in the hot syrup. And then we're going to melt it on low, put it to medium high. Okay, so it looks all incorporated and melted, so I'm gonna turn this baby on medium high, so that's about a seven. And then that whips for about 10 minutes. So, sorry about my face. Let me get you guys to, I've made like a little filling, filling uh, station. So I have another filling that we'll use. And then these are all max. Last week I had a wedding and um, it was a rainy, rainy week. So I had so many bad batches. It was. It was terrible. So we're using the duds, and we're only using a few just because I don't want to waste a ton of shells. But we are using some lopsided max for our filling party that we're gonna be doing. Let me set a timer. For eight minutes now. But we are going to fill some max. So we've got, let me move my induction stove
welcome to our live. Here's what's going on in the bowl. Michelle, I was saying she's a lot to handle. Hey everyone, the person I shouted out is talking now. Go check out her YouTube channel. Michelle's macarons. She'll give you lots of fillings and design ideas. Yeah, Jessica. I know, my husband told me that I could stream through this because I was trying through my, my uh, computer and it wasn't working very well. So this has been better, but I'm still kind of struggling with the wide angle and how to figure out what's being